end of 2019. With the threats the world was trying to deal with, there also came the COVID-19 pandemic. So far, apart from knowing the number of those who have died, the recovered, the infected, medical experts have not released the information regarding the day, month or year the COVID-19 treatment or vaccine will be available. It has been four months since COVID-19 reached in Rwanda, killing five out of more than 1,600 infected and over 800 were offered medical assistance and recovered from the deadly virus, leaving at least 700 still infected and under treatment. The government has taken various measures as soon as the pandemic reached the country's soil, such as setting up a joint ministerial team in February 2020 that closely follows up with all issues to do with the pandemic. On the 14th of March, a foreigner working in Rwanda tested positive for COVID-19. Since then, numbers of those infected with COVID-19 kept increasing, calling for different measures like the closure of different activities, which include worship places, public and private schools, not forgetting requesting non-essential workers to work from home, among others. Currently, most of the activities were resumed, but people are required to comply with the safety precautions. One would ask what would be the way forward if there will be delay or no cure of COVID-19. If the disease delays for a long time, the Ministry of Health has begun to develop what I would call a protocol for how people at the local level will react, and we are planning to bring services closer to those who have been exposed to the pandemic. At first, we only tested in Kigali. But we now have many testing points and where to treat from when it becomes necessary. The ability to test COVID-19 has increased by time, reaching up to 7,000. People say they continue to comply with COVID-19 prevention measures at their various jobs. As you can see, there is a line not to exceed whereby a customer will ask for whatever he or she wants behind the line, not forgetting to wash hands before accessing the premises. This is alcohol we spray in the helmet. We also have a hand sanitizer for the customers to wash hands before boarding. We protect them as we protect ourselves, which means that we are ready to deal with this pandemic to eradicate it. Advancement in various occupations and compliance with COVID-19 prevention guidelines. Residents say they are ready to live with the pandemic, regardless of how hard it might be. It takes dedication, for example, overcrowding in public transport was reduced, hence rising transport prices. I would not say things are good, but even so, life has to still move on. Without the head towel, I cannot accept taking that person regardless of the amount of money he or she is offering me to avoid anyone's responsibility in affecting the other. The Rwandan government has announced that in just four months, it has spent more than 60 million US dollars, equivalent to more than 50 billion Rwandan francs in activities including COVID-19 testing, monitoring of suspects, patient care, and those in isolation among others, not forgetting the 73 million US dollars set aside for the activities for the six-month period. Innocent Mogabo, RTV News, Kigali.